Hey there, fellows. So check this out. We on many, many, many occasions have made our fair share of transparent parts. Intake manifolds, covers and such, thermostat, radiator, anything you can imagine. And we have gotten oh so many requests to try making a transparent engine block. Right here we have a normal engine block, which we can model the transparent one off of. Now this is for a front drive lot, um, which I think will make things more convenient. Anyway, as we like to say around here, enough talk, let's go make us a transparent engine block. We like to thank our favorite mobile RPG, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring today's video. The creators of this captivating game do everything to make sure it never gets old. Always cooking up something new. That's on top of the basic product being well thought out. With great graphics, hundreds of champions with their own unique set of skills and powers, and a comprehensive in-game universe. And literally last month, Raid celebrated its fourth birthday. That calls for a party. And who would we invite to a dinner party to celebrate the occasion? Old friends, of course. Such as our good old friend Tatar Reimheid, who's gonna be a bit problematic to feed, but a feast is a feast. We'll definitely find a place for the relentless royal guard at our table, who's way more formidable than you'd ever think. And it might be interesting to see Tatar and Koronar have a few drinks and get at it. And a great addition to this fun set of guests would be Masamoto, who, as it turns out while playing the game, is a great supporting character for Tatara. As for new developments that Raid has in mind for the month of April, from April 14th to May 15th, there's gonna be an egg hunt. But not just for ordinary or chocolate eggs. For dragon eggs, as a matter of fact. So if you're new and have never played Raid, then download the game using my link in the description, copy your in-game player ID, and follow this here link. Enter your player ID and then journey through the flaming portal to embark on an exciting adventure. Scour the dragon's lair using your phone, and if you find the hidden egg, you'll be in for a chance to win amazing in-game items and even real-life prizes, including Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. Even if you're already playing Raid, click the link to find a special promo code that you can use to receive a small in-game gift. If you still haven't downloaded Raid Shadow Legends, then what are you waiting for? Click the link or use my QR code to get a free starter pack with some cool in-game loot. Now, a certain thought occurred to us pertaining to the process of making the transparent engine block. You might remember how we filmed some videos with a firm called Isomatrix. We had a chat with them and they basically said... Plexiglass is a very heavy material. The reason being, it's high tension. And if you're working with it and not heating it up or prepping it in any way, it's going to crack, break, and all of our efforts will be in vain. And so, we have the engine block and everything else, and we've decided we'll be casting it out of resin. It's a very durable material, it's transparent, and the guys tell us it can tolerate a lot of torture. Also, the thermodynamics are about the same, I mean, a 10 to 15 degree difference is very insignificant. Also, we are bearing in mind that the whole thing is essentially going to be disposable. Anyway, so we've prepped the block, you'll see we've cut off any excess bits, we wanted for less things to be protruding. For the sake of more efficient use of the resin, and overall just to make things more convenient. So yeah, let's do a bit more prep, put together a mold, which is going to involve some decking, obviously. Also applying some clay here and there, to whatever bits we're not going to need. Okay, time to get to work and find everything out while showing you guys the process. Let's get to it. We make a transparent engine block. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, guys, we've prepped the block. Any areas we don't want the resin to find its way into, we've blocked off using model clay. And over there, we've got some soldiers for the air to be able to escape. 
And we're about to smother the whole thing in silicon. This will serve as casing for the mold. All of the seams have been sealed with clay and some scotch tape on the outside. And hopefully we can make this work the first time around. So now we're gonna load the engine block, mix the silicon, and we might have to degas the silicon. So this is gonna be tough. But let's get to work and see where this goes. Here's what's up. The block is inside, we've ground it in silicon to form the mold. This is the simplest route. We placed the block after applying some clay, now we've smothered it. And let's have a look at what we got. Check this out, guys. We've extracted the engine block, and this whole thing is much lighter now. I mean, it's still heavy, because that is a lot of volume. <laughs> we still don't quite get it, but what matters is we've got a mold. With all of the engine block details imprinted in it. Now we're gonna close this up, put it back into that same box. The one we used to make this. The point being for this to compress and assume the correct shape. Because we do not want anything to be off. And from there we're gonna go ahead and pour in some liquid glass. Which is gonna take a couple of days to cure. Then we'll extract everything again, but I mean, easier said than done. Let's see how this actually plays out in real life. Let's get to it. Check it out, guys. We've extracted the mold, we're looking good. Granted, we have torn it off. On one side. Just look at how this block is coming together. It's nice and transparent. All of the structural elements are accounted for. Let me get this side, too. Ripping it off. It's got a few curious protrusions which are holding this in place. As difficult as this might be, but we have to extract it. This is quite interesting. But I'm sure we'll find a way to get this done. Oh, this is just tremendous. That was the filler hole. Yeah, on the water pump, but no worries. It made its way down here, and we've even got thread for the oil filter. Very nice, we've got all of the markings. Excellent. Now it's all just a matter of completely undressing it. Which might require more than just two sets of hands. 
Because I do not think this will be easy to remove. That said, it is doable, so... Let's get all of this off and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's where we're at with this. We are looking very good. We've extracted the engine block, we've machined and prepped it. Now we weren't looking to immediately make it perfect. There's much to fine-tune. Now the crank is in place, as are the pistons, and they are looking... They are a pretty good fit. The crank is in position, so are the bearings. Everything is where it needs to be. Now you'll notice that it's not yet fully transparent, but it was light before we put the crank in. That made it quite a bit heavier. Anyway, as you can see, it's not quite transparent. The reason being, the actual cast iron engine block was a bit coarse. And that silicon didn't just closely follow the shape, but also the texture, which in turn translated to the resin. So yeah, that needs to be smoothened out. Polished or, I don't know, maybe prepped for applying a bit of clear coat. Something that can be applied and is gonna form an even layer. As for why we haven't done that from the get-go, well... There is still a lot of work to do. We are going to be dialing it in. Yeah, this is going to take quite a bit of effort. But the crank is in place. The assembly rotates, the pistons move up and down, so at least that's all good. Now we thought that, in order to prevent the cylinders from losing transparency straight away, we decided to pull something from a previous experiment of ours, which are piston rings made not from steel, but out of rubber. They give you plenty of compression. I'm assuming this will run for a bit longer than if we were to use steel rings. And for maximum transparency, look here. We've also done the oil pump cover. We've cast it out of liquid glass as well. So everything is pretty much ready, but there's still plenty for us to do here. But the important thing is we've made the block and assembled an engine. And the fitment turned out to be really good. Thanks to us using a harder variety of silicon for the mold, the resulting item turned out to be spot on. 
Now we just have to polish it, and we still have to figure out how to mount the head. You see, the problem is, this here liquid glass, the point is, we made an attempt to drill some holes and tap some thread, and it is not going to allow us to tighten the bolts with as much torque as they require. This ain't aluminum or steel. It's much more similar to plastic, and it can't tolerate that sort of stress. So there's still much to think about. But what matters is we have a block, and that is a good start. There's still much to do, but we'll end this one here. And to stay in the loop, watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.